Hey everyone, welcome to another video of The Walking Dead The Final Season. Now remember my giveaway is still running. To enter the rules are in the description and be sure to like and comment on every video as the more comments you make on the videos, the more times your name will be in the draw for the Clem Hat giveaway. Now let's do this. Alright, so we're going to go and have dinner now. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. Mm, Thanks. Looks good. Wow, I can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mm, this is really good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Come on. Where are your manners, AJ? Good night. Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. Yeah, you little AJ, fat shit. Stop eating up. so fast. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. Are you sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Go and wipe, wipe your face. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. I don't know the game. The only card game I've played had less people. Don't worry. You'll pick it up as we go. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. <laughs> he's over there with ten. Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Ah, oh, damn it. Violet got higher. I think she had a face card. Yeah, Jack of Hearts. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. For the most part. Ooh, our turn to hey, ask a question. I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Marlon's haircut, met anyone famous, grossest thing eaten, worst injury witnessed. Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw a walker get hit in the head so hard both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. Hey, he's gonna ask something so, about boyfriend uh, or something. Ever, uh, <laughs> ever had a boyfriend? Knew it. Oh my god. What? It happened. He Perfectly wants to get fired in the claim. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Um, oh, sure I don't know whether it, the boy, yeah, I from season three. Met a boy one time. Javier. And Javier's and we were nephew. Friends. Just friends. Nothing else? Nothing at all? I think she had feelings for him. I don't know what you'd call them. 
but I had some sort of feelings for him. Maybe not exactly love, but something. Ha, I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? My friend Lee. The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to shoot a gun. Useful stuff. Yeah, I taught AJ the same way too. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Okay, uh, what's the grossest thing you've ever eaten? It's pretty easy, uh, horse eyeballs. Slugs? Cantaloupe. Come on. Dude, I fucking hate cantaloupe. I ate a guy's leg once. I'm kidding. Are you? <laughs> Are you? Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> who shall I think? Lewis, Marlin, Marlin, maybe. Uh, maybe you, Marlin? Oh, really? That's what's happened to almost everyone I know who tried to keep a group alive. Huh. Yeah, almost everyone. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That sounds like a rough day. Yeah, worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. <laughs> hey. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. So you guys relax, get some sleep, feel human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. Hmm. <laughs> AJ's all excited. He's like, yay, we get to stay. Saves being out in the road. That'd probably be the worst thing is being out in the road like that. Not knowing where your next meal is. That looks like a really safe window. It does. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like 10? Yeah, like 10. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh, uh, shit. 
She what? means that box. That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Oh. Uh, Ten Sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Hmm. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had like paintings and shit on the walls. She had shit on the walls? <laughs> and Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Oh, well, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie... Uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly, like, a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Oh, um, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool too, out there against those walkers. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. She's a strange You're character, cool, she is. See ya. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, You have AJ. collected AJ's drawing. He tried really hard. Nice, so How hang up here. here? Hmm. Uh, AJ? <laughs> hey there. I hid underneath what the bed. What are you doing? This is where I'm going to sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Well, it's safe out here, too. Did you see the size of this place? It's huge, and there are plenty of brick walls to keep us safe. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? That door is really sturdy. Trust me. I tried to get out earlier today. It wasn't easy. Oh, I don't know. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. 
It's not so bad down here. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. <sighs> this bed is really soft. Oh. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. Well, you... Oh, well, no. Trophy earned end of the road. Well, it wasn't really that we found the place. They found us. They kidnapped AJ. <laughs> so it's a good thing that they He's gonna found us. He's going to stay, right? I guess we're going to find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here. Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Into. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's going to save the day. Huh. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Oh. They were weak. What? No. They were brave. Strong. Now, give it to me and... No. He's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. Clem, please. Hey, it's G, you mine. can't take no, someone's toys not. and then say, oh, it's mine. Oh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlon is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look. What is he finding hey, now? Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? <sighs> Oh, what the hell? Marlon? Oh, shit. Uh oh. Stay back. Shit. Whoa, what the hell's going on? Hey, 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 it's okay. Shit. You said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared of them. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. There's something just not right about him, man. Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Gross. <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down on her level. Let her get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. She'll lie down, Rosie. Hmm. 
<laughs> Beast of a dog. That's so cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. Trophy earned good girl. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow. Well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Hmm. <laughs> Now it's just us kids left, and I'd like it if you and AJ were a part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. Right, so use the right stick to look around and select an object. So there's the train station that we were at. There's a river, road, hunting ground, forest, greenhouse, and the traps. Start here. What's the trap area? Hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. The greenhouse? The greenhouse? Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. Hunting grounds at the forest? I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part. That's the only road that leads in and out of Ericsson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. Wanted this place to be hard to find. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, I got a shack for storage right here. Right along the river. It's secure, mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? Can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends. Siblings, I, I can't let another kid die. We're not going to let that happen. I promise. <sighs> Thanks, Clementine. I appreciate that. I really do. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. But maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis... Uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Fish with, with Violet and Brody or hunt with Lewis and Asim? Let's go fishing. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. 
We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember you have to the stay schooler. in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. Still don't trust him, really. I don't trust him in that Violet character. This kind of seems like it's too good to be true. Something's bound to go wrong at some stage. Always does in this game. You know, or these I've been games. I wish we could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? That sounds kind of nice. I love the open road. I wouldn't mind showing you around. Just as long as you're not the one driving. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. Well, so here's the shack. Or the old I shed. Wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. We'd run out of gas. Convertibles. Lines. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted. If gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission. Buzzkill. I'd drive down to the coastline. Maybe park on the beach and go swimming. That'd be an absolute dream. You could spend every day in the sun. And die of skin cancer. Fun. We're all gonna die. I'll take skin cancer over, turn it into a walker any day. I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah, I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Where are those spears? Hey. About by... I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Vi, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. Yeah, Spears right. are right there behind Clem. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. Guess I just kind of missed that. But when you showed up, I, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. Hmm. Do you? I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? See how she feels about me? It's just been eating me up inside. Sure thing, Brody. I can talk to her. Really? That's great. Thanks, Clementine. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Extra what? Spears or something? All right, find a spear, right. Oh, there you go. Cool. Ready to get some fish? You yeah. have a spear. Good okay, reach and sharp. 
Oh, look at the big fish. Stab it. Uh, too slow. Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess they don't realize it makes them easier targets. I wanna try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Take a spear, but don't go on your nuts. Go ahead and try. They're not running. Right, so uh two. Any luck? Oh, there uh, you go. Something good enough for me. Uh, straight away. You have a fish. Looks like a meal. Hey, um, sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. Don't sweat it. I'm glad we got to know each other. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am too. Hey, come on. Stop right there. Stop. Oh my god, I have to do it while it's on the run. <coughs> Missed. Damn it. Heads up, guys. The hole's not looking that great. Uh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> god. Sometimes you just gets on my last nerve. You know? Yeah, I can tell. I mean, it's, it's not like I hate her. I just... <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. She definitely thinks you hate her. Oh, nice hit. Oh, come on. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Get that little fishy. Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I got one! Clem, I got one! Ah, uh, good job, <laughs> EJ. Good job. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is between us. With Brody. I don't know why it's like this. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. Because you blame her for what happened with the twins. Well, that's what I used to think. I just keep thinking that things might have ended differently if I was there. Maybe I could have protected Soph. And Minnie. She wants to talk about it, you know. I just... I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... I didn't even get to say goodbye. I... I wanted to talk to Brody, to tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim. See if they had any better luck. The Grand Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip, start driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. Yeah. That would be cool. Thanks. Hey, you slow folks coming? Yeah, we're right behind you. Thanks for watching another video of The Walking Dead, the final season. If you liked it, be sure to whoosh, that like button and slap the sub button. But last but not least, remember, life's a game. So play it well. See you in the next video.